Hey everyone, JC here. Have you guys ever heard of the theory that states that there is somebody out there in the planet that looks very similar to you and so does every other single person? They might not all be alive at the same time, but at one point or another, everyone has had a look-alike or a doppelganger. Some have theorized that perhaps the reason this has happened so much is because there is only a certain number of face configurations possible and eventually there is bound to be repeats. But we might not notice very often since most people aren't famous enough to be recognized by the masses so they go unnoticed for the most part. However, there is many people in the world that are recognized worldwide, celebrities, which has led to many people finding some very interesting images of other individuals from the past that strike an uncanny resemblance to their celebrity counterparts in present time. So good is the resemblance that many people are claiming that some of these people are more than just mere doppelgangers. Going as far as claiming that some of these people are in fact time travelers, others, reincarnations, or even immortals that have been moving down through time without being noticed. You decide which is the case. In 30 celebrities, who are either time travelers, reincarnations, immortals, or simply doppelgangers. You decide. For number 30, we have John Stewart, the comedian, and Henry War Betcher. Henry War Betcher was an American Congregationalist, clergyman, social reformer, and speaker known for his support for the abolition of slavery. And this image is from 1845. Number 29, we have Orlando Bloom. Of course, he's very famous for his roles in the franchise with the Pirates of the Caribbean. And we have Nicolel Grigorescu. Sorry if I butcher anybody's name. I'm going to probably do that throughout the video a few times. I apologize in advance. Nicolel was one of the founders of modern Romania. The image is from 1860. 28. For 28, we have the beautiful Jennifer Lawrence and the equally beautiful Sumbaria Torwar. Miss Torwar was an Egyptian film, stage, television actress who was known for having the most beautiful eyes in classic Egyptian cinema. The image is from the 60s. This one is in fact just a doppelganger because they were actually both alive at the same time. Number 27. For this one we have another comedian, Conan O'Brien and Marshall Harvey Twitchell. Mr. Twitchell was a Union Army soldier from Vermont and the image was taken in 1870. For number 26 we have a popular singer Justin Timberlake and we also have an unknown man from the past. All that is known is this image was taken sometime in the 1800s, most likely late 1800s and many people claim to see a clear resemblance here. For number 25 we have Jack Black and Paul Revere. Of course everybody's heard of Paul Revere as well. He's known for his midnight ride when he alerted the colonial militia in April 1776 to the approach of the British forces before the Battle of Lexington and Concord. This portrait is from 1765. Number 24, we have the very famous actor Brad Pitt. Of course, Brad Pitt is also known for his looks. And here we have Herman Rorschach. Herman Rorschach is a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, best known for developing the Rorschach test. I'm sure many of you have seen the test. It is the ink blots that are on the paper and they're left open to interpretation to analyze the patients. The image is from 1910. And here's number 23, Rocky himself, Sylvester Stallone. And we have Pope Gregory the Ninth. And this depiction of him is from the 13th century. Number 22, we have actors Charlie Sheen and John Brown. John Brown was an American abolitionist who believed in and advocated for an armed insurrection as the only way to overthrow the institution of slavery in the United States. The image is from the 1840s. Number 21, actress Maggie Gyllenhaal. And we have Rose Wilder Lane, who was an American journalist travel writer, novelist, and political theorist, and the image is from the early 1900s. For number 20, we have Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason is better known for his character on Game of Thrones, Joffrey. And then we have Roman Emperor Caligula. Latest research labels him as a man renowned for depravity and cruelty, much like Joffrey, Gleason's character on Game of Thrones. Number 19, Robert Patterson, known for his role in Twilight, and we have this man, he's a known name from the late 1800s. Number 18, we have actress Rachel Weisz. She has starred in many movies, but perhaps most well known for her role in the film The Mummy. And we have Lily Elsie. Lily Elsie was an actress as well, and she was born in 1886. 
She was a child star who appeared in many uh, musical comedies. Elsie passed away at the age of 76, only eight years before Weiss was born in 1970. For number 17, we have rapper JC, and we have a mystery man in a photo taken in 1939 in Harlem, New York. Number 16, we have famous actor John Travolta. In this one, we have another unknown man from 1860. Number 15, we have Alec Baldwin and the 17th president of the United States, Millard Fillmore. And this image was taken in the 1850s. Number 14, we have actor Johnny Depp and this man from the 1920s. Somebody posted this on Reddit as well and claimed there was his great grandfather. Number 13, Matt Damon. This one was posted on Reddit. Somebody posted, my dad looks like Matt Damon. And we have this image. And then we had somebody else post this image as well. Uh, the origin is unknown of this image. Number 12, we have John Krasinski, best known for his role in The Office. And we have this man in a portrait from the 15th century. For number 11, we have actor Eddie Murphy, and yet again, we have a mystery man here, and it is believed this image was taken in the mid-1800s. Number 10, we have Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and Philip IV, King of Spain in the 17th century. Number 9, Bruce Willis and World War II general Douglas MacArthur. Douglas MacArthur was an American five-star general. He was a chief of staff in the United States Army during the 1930s and played a prominent role in the Pacific Theater during World War II. Number eight, we have another comedian, Jimmy Fallon, and Turkish revolutionary Mayer Kayan. The image is likely from the late 1960s. He was killed in 1972, and Fallon was born two years later. Number seven, this one's pretty interesting, is the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. And it's two different individuals, one from 1941, uh, from World War II, seems like maybe he's a pilot. And then we have another person from 1920, he also seems to be a soldier of some kind. And then we have Putin in 2015. <laughs> this one has uh, many people calling Putin some kind of a uh, time traveler or immortal. Number six, we have Enzo Ferrari and soccer player, Metsu Osil. The resemblance in this one is very strong and the story behind it is also very interesting. The Italian motor racing driver and entrepreneur Enzo Ferrari died on August 14, 1988 and Osil was born two months later on October 15 on the same year 1988. Some say this is a case of reincarnation. I don't know if that is true or not but they do have a very strong resemblance in my opinion. What do you guys think of this one? This next one is very cool. It's number five and we have Andy Samberg and Daniel Radcliffe. They're posting in this picture together and then we have this picture from the 70s of these two unknown individuals who many claim have an uncanny resemblance to them. And it's just very interesting that we have both of them posing together in this image and these two individuals posing together and people claim they look very similar to each other so what are the odds of that happening number four we have nicholas cage and another unknown gentleman from the late 1800s in my opinion this one is a very good one and now for our top three at number three we have Peter Dinklage. He's a very well-known actor. He's most well-known for his role on Game of Thrones. And then we have Sebastian de la Morales. Earlier on in the video, I had mentioned Philip IV and his resemblance to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. And now we have Peter Dinklage and Sebastian Morales. And Sebastian was the gesture for Philip IV of Spain. He's portrayed in this painting, which was painted by Diego Velázquez Mora in the 17th century. The painting by Velázquez is considered one of the most penetrating character studies ever by the master. At number two, we have Matthew McConaughey. And this man from the late 1850s, name unknown. However, I think this one is quite spectacular. It is basically dead on. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree? And finally, we have number one, Keanu Reeves and French actor Paul Mounet pictured on the right. 
top hand corner. According to one theory, the American actor Keanu Reeves is an immortal that has been traveling throughout time. And believers of this theory believe that Keanu Reeves and the 19th century Frenchman Paul Monet are one and the same. Not only are their physical similarities striking, but Monet was also a prominent actor gathering acclaim in a variety of productions becoming something of a celebrity in Paris. In addition to appearing in a number of pioneering black and white films, including French directors André Calmantis, 1909 silent version of Macbeth, Monet was also a professor at the Paris Conservatory. Monet passed away suddenly at the age of 74, and further fueling the fires of the people that believe in this theory. His body was never found. And here we have on the top left hand corner, this comes from a painting hanging at the Atzfitz Galleria in Florence, Italy, and it's a painting that is dated from 1530. The painting is titled Portrait of a Man, which many believe is the actor once again earlier on in time. This last one is quite a bit to think about and it's pretty interesting and fun to think about if anything else. And there you have it guys, that is the list for today. If you enjoyed the video and you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so and also consider checking out my other content. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.